Welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power negative a is equal to 4. And we need to find all possible values of a. First of all, we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to the power a. 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power negative a is equal to 4. And we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to the power a. At left side, we multiply by 2 to the power a. No, 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a, 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a, plus 2 to the power a times 2 to the power negative a, 2 to the power a times 2 to the power negative a is equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This 2 to the power a times 2 to the power a is equal to 2 to the power a plus a plus and this 2 to the power a times 2 to the power negative a is equal to 2 to the power a minus a is equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. Next, 2 to the power a plus a, 2a plus 2 to the power a minus a, 0 is equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. Next, 2 to the power 2a plus 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 is equal to 4 times 2 to the power a. Now we move this uh, 4 times 2 to the power a to the left side. First we write this uh, 2 to the power 2a and this uh, positive 4 times 2 to the power a becomes uh, negative 4 times 2 to the power a plus this one is equal to 0. Now according to this property of exponents a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. We can write this uh, 2 to the power 2a as 2 to the power a whole to the power 2 minus 4 times 2 to the power a plus 1 is equal to 0. Now here we have 2 to the power a and here we have 2 to the power a. So we suppose that let 2 to the power a is equal to x and we substitute x in this equation then this equation becomes x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and can be solved by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b minus 4 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 4 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of a 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and this is equal to this minus and this minus becomes positive 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 is 12 divided by 2. And this is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of, we can write this 12 as 4 times 
3 divided by 2 and this is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2 next x is equal to now from here we can factor out 2 2 times in bracket left 2 plus minus square root of 3 divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and we get 2 values of x x1 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3 and x2 is equal to 2 minus square root of 3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 2 to the power a is equal to x we have supposed that 2 to the power a is equal to x first in this equation we put this value of x1 2 plus square root of 3 2 to the power a is equal to value of x is 2 plus square root of 3 now because at the left side we have base 2 so we take a log base 2 of both sides log base 2 of 2 to the power a is equal to log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 now according to this log property b to the power log base b of a is equal to a this log base 2 of 2 to the power a is equal to a is equal to this value log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 this is the first value of a now in this equation we put the value of x to 2 minus square root of 3 2 to the power a is equal to value of x is 2 minus square root of 3 and we take log base 2 of both sides log base 2 of 2 to the power a is equal to log base 2 of 2 minus square root of 3 now according to this log property this log base 2 of 2 to the power a is equal to a is equal to log base 2 of 2 minus square root of 3 this is the second value of a now let's verify these values of a to verify these values we put these values in the original equation the original equation is 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power negative a is equal to 4 first in this equation we put the value of a1 log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 2 to the power value of a1 is log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 plus 2 to the power minus value of a1 is log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4 next 2 to the power log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 plus according to this property of exponents a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n we can write this 2 to the power negative log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 as 1 over 2 to the power log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4. 
Now, according to this log property, b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This uh, 2 to the power log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3 plus 1 over. According to this property, this uh, 2 to the power log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4. Now, we can write the denominator of this 2 plus square root of 3 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and this 2 plus square root of 3. The LCM is 2 plus square root of 3 and when we divide this 2 plus square root of 3 by this 1 we get 2 plus square root of 3 and 2 plus square root of 3 times this 2 plus square root of 3 2 plus square root of 3 squared. This plus will come here and when we divide this 2 plus square root of 3 by this 2 plus square root of 3 we get 1 and 1 time this one 1 is equal to 4. Now according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This uh, 2 plus uh, square root of 3 whole squared is equal to 2 squared plus square root of 3 squared plus 2 times 2 times square root of 3 and in the last we write this plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus uh, square root of 3 is equal to 4. Next, this 2 squared is 4 plus this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 3 plus 2 times 2 4 times square root of 3 plus this one divided by 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4. Now, this 4 plus 3 is 7 plus this one 8 plus 4 times square root of 3 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4. Now, from these two terms we can factor out 4. 4 as a common factor in bracket left 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to 4. Now, this 2 plus square root of 3 will be cancelled with this 2 plus square root of 3 and at the left side left 4 is equal to 4 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of a1 log base 2 of 2 plus square root of 3 is correct. And if we verify this value of a2 log base 2 of 2 minus square root of 3 in the same way, this is also verified. So, this is also a solution.